welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking about pelvic inflammatory diseases or PID. So, this is basically an infection of the female reproductive organs. So, you can see here inflamed ovary, inflamed uterus, and inflamed fallopian tubes. So, basically, the symptoms of this are very subtle and they can be they can be subtle or mild so some women experience no symptoms at all while some women have symptoms when they're like they have trouble getting pregnant or they develop chronic pelvic pain so they have pain they can have heavy vaginal discharge of an unpleasant odor they have abnormal uterine bleeding that is like bleeding when they're not menstruating they have pain while during intercourse they have fevers with some chills they have painful or frequent or difficult urination so if you're experiencing these things you need to get it checked out because it may be PID and what is the cause of PID PID is made mainly caused from bacteria so like to gonorrhea chlamydia infection are the most common cause of PID and the bacteria are usually acquired during unprotected sex so what you should do is to get these things checked out and what are some complications ectopic pregnancy you have infertility you have chronic uh, pelvic pain and all those things and to treat these things your doctor would advise you to practice safe sex or practice they would also advise you to get your partner checked out and they'll give you some antibiotics to uh, to, to get rid of the bacterial infection and they'll also recommend temporary abstinence so no sex until you're better so that's it for PID today until next time see you soon